Hello friends and welcome to edupediaworld.com, your destination to online education. Friends, today we are going to start with a new topic of the periodic table with Newland's Law of Octaves. So in this session we will be discussing something about the scientist John Newland. We will also learn about his octave law and also discuss the merits and demerits of this law of classification of the elements. So let's start something about John Newland. John Newland with the full name John Alexander Reina Newlands. He was born in 26 November 1837 in Visquare, Limbert in UK. He was an English chemist who worked on the development of the periodic table and proposed Newland's Law of Octave. He was also honored by Royal Society who presented a Davy Medal to Newland in 1887 for his contribution to classify elements. So friends, let's understand now the Newland's Law of Octave. As in 1864. John Newland, he was also a good lover of music. He arranged the elements in the ascending order to the atomic masses and found that the every eighth element had properties similar to the properties of the first element, just like an eighth note of the musical octave is the same as its first note. So on the basis of his observation, he gave his law of octave, which says, when elements are arranged in the order of increasing atomic mass, the property of the eighth element, starting from the given element, are a repetition of the properties of the first element. So let's understand now, friends, by the help of a uh, image. Here you can see, according to the octave law, he arranged the lighter to the heavier elements, just as the notes of the music. So. This repetition in the properties of elements is just like the repetition of the eighth note in an octave of the music. So it is known as the law of octave. So here you can see that if I take the example of lighter to the heavier by aligning with the elements with the similar properties, if we start with the lithium as a first element, we find that the eighth element from it, it is sodium that is Na, and according to the Newland's law of octave, the properties of the eighth element, that is sodium, should be similar to those of the first element, that is lithium. So it has actually been found that these elements, lithium and sodium, have similar chemical properties. Now again, if I take sodium as the first element, then the eighth element from it will be potassium. So according to the Newland's law of octave, the properties of the potassium should be similar to that of sodium. So it has actually been found that the sodium and potassium have the similar properties. In fact, all these three elements, lithium, sodium and potassium, possesses similar chemical properties. Now let's take an, another example of fluorine, chlorine and bromide. So if I take fluorine as a first element, F, then the eighth element from it will be chlorine, Cl, and according to the Newlands, both will have the similar chemical properties, respectively with also chlorine and bromine, first and eighth element. So now friends, the new lands divide the element into horizontal rows of similar elements, each as shown here. But the noble gas, which were actually not known at that time, so the table which was formed like this with the respect to 
the musical notes that is western b the do re mi fa so la t and again its first do similarly with the indian music that is sa re ga ma pa tha ni and again with the first and eighth sa respectively the arrangement of the elements were according to the increasing order of the atomic mass and having the similar chemical properties with the same group that's lithium sodium and potassium you can see here in the second row so friends as we have learned now the octave law of classification of elements which have many merits let's learn about and understand what are the positive effects of this octave law first lighter elements yes the system worked very well for the lighter elements for example lithium sodium and potassium were brought together also it related the properties of elements to the atomic masses thirdly for the first time it was shown that there is a distinct periodicity in the properties of element as with the chemical property with respect to the increasing order of the atomic masses so friends we learned here the merits now let's understand the demerits which have made a generation of a new periodic table that is the discovery of noble gases yes after the discovery of noble gases the idea of octave failed for example new now comes between fluorine and sodium argon between chlorine and potassium thus making the ninth not the eighth element shown the similar properties also we have failed for the heavier elements as this classification failed with regards to the heavier elements that is those lying beyond the calcium as more and more elements were discovered they could not be fitted into the newlands octave so this law actually failed for the more and more elements so friends here we discuss the law we learned something about the scientist we also learn about the merits and demerits so here i conclude the law with all the slides that in 1866 john newland an english scientist arranged the then known elements in the order of increasing atomic masses he started with the element having the lower atomic masses that is hydrogen and ended to the thorium which was the 56th element so he found that the every eighth element had properties similar to the first and he compared this to the octaves found in the music therefore he called this law of octaves it is also known as newland's law of octaves in newland's octave the property of lithium sodium were found to be the same and sodium is the eighth element after the lithium similarly beryllium and magnesium resemblance with each other so now it's time for you to do, do an activity i have given a very simple question which will actually sum up the whole session that is what similarities was observed by the new lands in the properties of elements and the octaves of the music so here friends i end up with my all this session and will be discussing the new session with mendeleev classification of elements thank you